My name is Jeff Bell. I'm the program manager for professional photography uh, at FanArts. Teaching classes the last four months, not only teaching but organizing and uh, coordinating with our uh, network of instructors has been really interesting. We moved all of the classes that were possible to be moved online to uh, online delivery. Roughly 60 to 65 percent of our classes. A lot of our uh, getting together type shoots where we had to meet are taking place outside or they're taking place in this studio space here where we can maintain two meters of physical distancing no problem. And if that happens to be an issue, we have been dividing the classes in half. What that's allowed us is to keep the continuity of what we're trying to deliver year in and year out, just the timing has been a little bit different. I know the administration of Fan Arts has improved and asked more of our cleaning staff, which we truly appreciate, and our studio staff is well aware of um, what's being used, we're tracking what uh, we, our equipment comes in boxes, what boxes are being used and making sure that those are um, at least being wiped down if not being rotated. So box one does not get used two days in a row if possible. Uh, they'll rotate through the equipment that way. So that's really helpful. So for our online classes, uh, we've actually found the delivery to be almost seamless. It's really easy to screen share. So if the students have content to share with the instructors to ask uh, for critique on or to deliver their assignments that are due, that hasn't been a problem. The ability to bring in instructors and guest speakers remotely from anywhere now has really opened our eyes to a lot of possibilities. In the situation of a student that has to stay remote for the beginning of this, the term, uh, I think we're well equipped to accommodate them for a, a while. We know that we can deliver term one, no problem, almost all the way through in, th in, a, in a lockdown remote situation. We proved that in the spring, and then we were able to catch everybody up. Now, case by case basis, it might be a little different, it might be the same. We'll do our best to get everybody caught up. Having said that, at a certain point, they're gonna need to come in and be in person, hands-on, because that's what we do. We're teaching hands-on professional photography, which is why our program is so successful and so great, because people actually get to use our equipment, they get to use our studio space that you can see, they get to be here in Vancouver and take beautiful pictures in these environs. Well, I think the good news for photography as an industry during the pandemic is that many people are taking that uh, approach that, hey, we're all in this together. You can ask our instructors how they dealt with it. You can see how the industry dealt with it and, and what shakes out at the end. And photography is about life. It's about uh, communicating visually. And uh, we need visual communications. You don't need to know the language. You just need to know what you're looking at. We've got a lot of room in the school. We've got all the things, all the protocols in place. And uh, it's, uh, it actually may be a good time to come. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Photography is always going to be needed. There's always going to be a place for the best uh, photos possible and that's what our students are trained to make and deliver.